Tyson Weiss with Four Flight. This is one of those things that is really becoming very, very exciting in the aviation industry, and I want to talk a little bit about that as well. But let's start with Four Flight for iPad. Tell us about how that development has come about and what it is that makes your product unique. Well, so ForeFlight is an application for the iPad that you can download from the App Store, run on your iPad. And ForeFlight is an app for gathering pre-flight intelligence information, so data that you need before you fly. ForeFlight has a tremendous focus on uh, weather and ensuring that pilots can very quickly and efficiently get access to weather information that helps them evaluate the risks along their route of flight. What caused you to try to fill this niche? Where did you see the need? So the need developed sort of after Steve Jobs announced the development of the iPhone we realized that the mobile device, because of its cost and its ease of use, was something that was going to be widely adopted. So we wanted a software for ourselves to use that uh, would allow us to no longer have to go to a number of different websites to get information like weather, airport data, NOTAMs, TFRs, and that sort of stuff. So this sort of was born out of the necessity that, that we saw with the mobile platforms developing. What are some of the unique features of ForeFlight? So I think what's really unique about ForeFlight is that for most pilots, it's, it's very easy to use. It's the first time you start up the application, your weather is downloaded automatically. You're able to plan routes of flight uh, on a touch-based flight planning interface. You can very quickly file flight plans. And it's just uh, very simple for people to get up and using and, uh, and start, start planning flights with. You talked a little bit about the trend that's going on with these touch interface devices. How do you see that trend developing and how do you see these kinds of devices being used in the future? Well, I think the, the adoption of the iPad is going to follow sort of the adoption of, of the iPhone, which is when Apple released the iPhone, more people were walking around with smartphones after a year than had ever been in the past. Uh, it's easy for my mother to use, and I think with the price point of the iPad, a lot of pilots are considering it, not only for its use in cockpit, but it's very versatile. You can use it to watch videos, you can use it to watch, uh, listen to music, to surf the internet. So it's something that you can hand to your passenger in flight, they can utilize it there, and then you can take it back and, and grab your approach plates with it. What are you looking at in the future as far as development is when ForeFlight expands? We're four months into the iPad, and we, I think we have years of innovation left to do industry-wide. So I would expect to see a lot of things added to the device externally, and I think it would probably uh, start filling th the needs in a wide range of aviation, all the way from corporate pilots managing documents down to getting higher uh, resolution GPS attached to the device and, and maybe even in-flight weather in the future. Aero TV is brought to you by Freedom Through Performance. At Sirius, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom?